No. Uh, <laughs> or so they say. By the way, as you see the, the, the IPCC, the, the report that have been leaked out, that's apparently they're starting to lean toward, well, you know, global warming could be caused by sunspots in the sun, and, you know, because the sun does heat things up. Well, uh, let me, maybe it's just the just, cycle. Let me just... That is, of course, a lie. The second-order draft of the Assessment Report 5 from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change states no such thing. It actually states the exact opposite. The draft assessment report specifically states emphatically and without equivocation that the sun is not, because it cannot, be the reason for the current global temperature anomaly increase. What the second order draft of the assessment report 5 actually states is the exact opposite of what these denialists are saying it states. Total solar irradiance over the past 30 years, variation-wise, is equal to almost zero. Compare that to the total anthropogenic forcing of approximately one watt per square meter. In fact, in chapter 8 of the second order draft assessment report 5, it clearly states over and over and over again that the sun is not the reason for the current global temperature anomaly. These denialists lied. Um, but the relevant piece of the, um, of, and the full documents are online. No one is talking about this at all, of course, because it's very inconvenient. Uh, here it is. It is reported that uh, uh, it is about the possible effect of cosmic rays heating up climate. That, of course, is another lie. Second Order Draft Assessment Report 5 states no such thing. In fact, it states the exact opposite. There is absolutely no effect on Earth's climate due to cosmic rays. In fact, there has been no change in cosmic ray intensity over the past 100 years. And, of course, if cosmic rays had been seeding cloud formation, Earth would be cooling, not warming. And that undermines the... Uh, AGW, the man-made uh, climate uh, warming, the change. Anthropomorphic uh, global warming. Yes. That is, of course, a lie. Second order draft assessment report 5 states the exact opposite. It states over and over and over again, in literally over a hundred places, that anthropogenic warming, and only anthropogenic warming, is the major forcing involved in the current global temperature anomaly. Uh, and this is in the report, in the draft. And this is, of course, very damning to the uh, entire industry. To of, the movement. Yeah, to the, <laughs> to the movement. Second order draft, assessment report 5, has not damaged the science education movement one iota. The report does not state what these denialists claim it states. <laughs> so uh, it is, it's basically, uh, you know, it's a draft. It's, it's just a draft. It can't be true. So th it is, of course, extremely unlikely that the final report is going to differ in any substantial way from the second-order draft. Over 35,000 scientists have contributed to the report, with over 15,000 comments on first-order draft and second-order draft. This is, of course, Working Group 1's final report, which is expected in March. Yeah, I think the guy probably did a disservice by, uh, by popping it now. Um, I don't think that was probably a good idea because you know now that now they got all this time to, to discredit. Oh him. yeah, they're going to excise it. It is, of course, absurd as well as asinine to claim to believe that the scientists are going to remove from the final report that which is not even in the draft report. This, of course, is typical denialist behavior.